this mess you made. Look at this mess you made. Clean it up. Clean it up. <clears throat> Look at this mess you made. Easter Sunday. It was really beautiful um, and mild. We went for a walk. Uh, it sort of got chilly later in the evening, but it was a nice day and we had a nice walk. And a little Easter fire, as you can see. But it was all in all low key. Today is the day after Easter Sunday, Monday, and um, it's really chilly again. And as you can see, we've got rain coming down with snow. Oh boy. Is it bedtime, sweet girl? Is it bedtime? Ostara is the celebration of the resurrection of life and the hope of things to come. In uh, Christianity, it is um, tied to the myth of the resurrected Christ, the man Jesus who was killed as a sacrifice, as a paschal sacrifice for the sins of man. Um, to be the eternal paschal lamb, was crucified, buried, and rose again three days later. Um, some of us may believe that, and um, if you do, I think that, uh, I hope you find great great faith and hope in that. Um, for, for others of us, um, we dig Jesus. Jesus is just all right with me, um, and I love his teachings, and I don't know. Uh, what I think of the resurrection that may or may not have happened. I honestly no longer know. Um, and I'm okay with not knowing. But I do know that life has um, cycles. And that um, those are the important things. And Easter is the resurrection of the planet. Ostara uh, refers to fertility, um, the greening of the grass, the renewal of uh, seeds, and flowers, longer days of sun, the solar, the solar king is returning, which could also be the victory of the light over the dark in the myth of the resurrection of Christ. So it's all, um, it's all there. All of the myths are there. Um, and as a woman passed her uh, days of fertility, one of the things that I try to pay attention to is my health and wellness. As you know, this channel is very much dedicated to that, um, to the seven sacraments of health, and movement is a huge part of it. So. As we enter the longer days, I try to just make sure that I'm getting in a little more movement, uh, trying to get, you know, not necessarily bikini ready because I'm kind of past that, but um, just, you know, feeling my best so that I can go out there and garden and tend to some of the kids that, you know, need a little extra, little extra maternal energy in their lives and uh, just feel my best because, um, as somebody once said, aging ain't for sissies. So, I'm just sharing a little bit of my movement with you. So, this is Tuesday um, after Easter. And I, I can no longer remember if Holy Week is the, the week leading up to Easter. Sunday or the week after. So you've got like Good Friday and then Vigil Saturday, uh, Shabbat or Sunday, the Resurrection, and then Holy Week. I, I can't remember. Um, but anyway, 
I'm just kind of making a post Easter because I didn't do, I was feeling very poorly motivated to make an Ostara video. I think because we got some really <laughs> cold, wet snow and rain. It was rain that turned to snow and it was kind of pretty and everything, but it's getting late in the year for, for snow and it gets exhausting and depressing. Um, when you're just ready for spring to come and you want to plant, you know, and I kind of played a little bit with my pots today. I ground some eggshells and some water to pour in my um, planters to remineralize re the soil and um, uh, hung out in the sunshine with some of the kids playing and um, did some exercise and I'm just relaxing and thinking about um, what it's like to live in this time of literal hell. And I'm wondering, was it always like this? Like, growing up, I remember we would hear about things. I remember there was talk of the energy crisis and the wheat crisis in Russia and Watergate and Vietnam, and I wore my POW and MIA bracelets. And then, of course, I mean, it's just like we're America. We're constantly at war. Why? Why can't we? Why? 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 And this is driving me crazy. And I'm honestly thinking, I wish I could, I wish I could expatriate. Like, I'm really considering it. Like, the people that we go after. So my phone died. But what I was saying is that the people that we go after usually aren't really the bad guys. They're usually people that have decided that um, they want to have their own form of government, for instance, the way we do regime change all through Central and South America. It's not our place. We did regime change in Libya, in Iraq. Um, I frankly think we should do regime change in Israel if we're going to do it anywhere. I mean, that motherfucker needs to go. Um, so, yeah, um, the fact that we are supporting a genocide in our time that's being, like, live streamed to us on our phones is so traumatizing. It's so traumatizing to so many people. More than 75% of people who consider themselves liberal or progressive and um, more than 60% of people who consider themselves centrist but independent um, are opposed to our support for this war, this genocide. It's not a war. Um, in the Middle East, and uh, the only people that are really for it are the, the crazy people who think that um, God's gonna come back because a red heifer or some dumb fuck bullshit, you know. Um, we need, at this point in, in our history, to understand that scripture is um, beautiful mythology, but it is mythology. And there may be some aspects of chronology and um, family records and all, you know, that, that it's useful for. But other than that, like, it can, we cannot base geopolitics on a Bronze Age text and people claiming that they have a right to the whole Middle East, the Levant, at gunpoint. Uh, and that's what the Israelites want, the people of Israel, modern Israel, because there was no ancient Israel. It was Judea and Samaria and um, the uh, the idea of the Israelites are a people. They're the tribe of, or the, the descendants of um, Jacob, who wrestled with the angel and was thus named Israel, he who wrestles with God. And I think that that's a beautiful and poetic myth and that uh, the true Jewish people who follow the true Torah 
know that they aren't supposed to come occupy lands and burn villages and send Zionist militias to terrorize, torture, and kill, and mutilate, and rape. And that's what they've done. And there, you can hear old um, IDF soldiers talk about the 1948 war and the rapes and the massacres. They're proud. Like, these are not the people of God. Sorry. Anyway, so we're living through hell. And I mean, there are how many genocides going on in the world right now? And But our country, I just want my country to stop. You know, so it's been a tough time. It's been a, a tough Easter um, to feel the hopefulness of spring. So again, I guess I'll just return to the mother. Maybe if we all pray our rosaries and return to the feminine, you know, maybe we can bring a halt to this bullshit. And it is bullshit. Pre-Palestine.